Before I talk about this, I'm gonna go somewhere where I can probably be alone and probably be safe. Uh. Oh, okay. Lonely tree. That that will work. Okay. Nobody's here. All right. Okay. This is this is like kind of driving me insane lately. Um. I just woke up a little bit ago and I just had this on my mind. So I was like, all right, I'll turn on the the <laughs> the recorder. So you remember this video a couple days ago where I would get these bot accounts that would follow me into games and uh, start spamming. Like they would have no way of actually finding out where I am. Not through the current programs that are out there that people use to like follow me. They would have to know what game I'm in to be able to follow me if they. They were using those programs that people use. So this guy, the first one we saw, Nights Into Dreams 12. I just turned on my recorder because I was really confused. They started spamming this. Your behavior is briefly being monitored under the monitoring program. To opt out, please contact Gerard B, Roblox user Blacksophant, via email or Roblox messages. So that kind of continued. They would like stalk me to like any game I would go to where like There'd be, okay, an ad. So we'd go into, like, the most random game. Like, Epic Fart Zero. We typed in that. Me and Tempris is we, by the way. We'd go into there. We'd go into just a bunch of random games. And then they would follow. It was always only one bot account at a time. But it would be, like, a different one every single game we got into. They would have all these, like, scam games on their profile. And they're all following this guy. Oh, God. It's, look, look, it's happening again. They do this hack where they follow you. Like, look, look, look. And they start spamming it. Your behavior is briefly being monitored. Look, I don't have a way out. I thought I was safe here. They're doing this thing now. They're so much more aggressive where they could just stalk you like that. Look, he's not moving. He's just using a hack to just put himself exactly where I am. They're getting more. Look, look at that. They're getting so much more aggressive. Like, before they would just- My god, stop. Before they would just stay, like, at the spawn and just, like, leave after, like, a couple minutes. You know, that was, like, the trend. But now they do this. That's what I was gonna get at. And look how much he's spamming it. There is no way that anybody would be able to- Like, okay, let me put this in perspective. So this guy right here. There is a group that is dedicated to kind of finding where I am. And, you know, it's- It's not- This community has kind of evolved into just, like- you know, a second, like, fan group for me and, like, community group. But, like, it's kind of, it, it it started off, like, just a bunch of people spying on me, trying to find out where I am. And it was really fun. But if a 124,000 player group couldn't figure it out, but this guy could, it's some program that he developed to just find out always, always, always where I am. I literally cannot use my main account anymore. And one weird thing is, this is happening to other YouTubers. Let me bring up a tweet real quick. Okay, look at this. This is another YouTuber. This thing exists, and I had no idea how. I had my joins on friend only. And look, it's doing that same, like, just stalking glitch where it gets into a game where nobody can find you, and then it just starts following you, like, very aggressively following you in the game. Look, it's still here, too. No matter what I do, I can't get rid of it. I initially started seeing this again, like, so I posted the video, and yeah, like, a couple more followed me, and I was just like, all right, I'm gonna document this. I took a couple screenshots. I was in Ninja Simulator, whatever it's called, the stupid game that made me go broke. That's when it first started happening, because I was on, like, an island that you had to be a high level to get to, and he just, like, zoomed up there with, like, the basic sword, like, that you start out with and just started doing that. And then when I was in Adopt Me, you know, I was just trying to adopt a baby. And then that happened. Really still going at it. The last video that I made on this, just a couple days ago, they were all following this account. And they all just randomly unfollowed that account, like, the moment I made that video. Like, look, this is the first guy. He was following that account. Now he's following nobody. What are they trying to hide? What happened? Like, did they all just... Why did they all unfollow that account? That makes me so mad. Literally, what are they hiding? And yeah, if you didn't know, um, all these accounts have these just... Oh, just hundreds of hundreds of scam games on here that all link to this other game. Hey, stop it! Stop! What if he just stopped? I'm pretty sure nobody is on the other line. He just, he just like runs a program and it sends like a bot in. I wonder if they are recording it. Like if they are actually like monitoring it like a security camera. So just just a, playing a little bit of catch up here. If I, if I click Packard Jail... It sends me to somebody else's game, and they actually have a lot of players at that game. It sends me to Fortnite Tycoon. Hey, stop it. Oh, so the only time I'm actually ever safe on this putrid earth is when um, a server is full, because I... Oh, wait, I actually don't know. They might be able to just force themselves into a full server, because why would a bot care? Like, bots can just do whatever they want. 
If I can find a botted game, maybe I can show you. When you see like actual like botted games, like usually like if a, if a max server size is 30, sometimes you'll see like 33 people in there if it's like all bots. Wow, is Roblox actually banning botted games now? Do it, do it, I deserve it. Whatever, I can't find one, but you guys know what I mean. With like the overflow, how many people can actually be in the server. So instead of like a max player server of 30, they could probably get like, they could probably squeeze like 33 people in there. Wait, is he still at that place? Oh, and also another like very weird and threatening thing is um a lot of those accounts are stolen that they use. This is a good example right here of one from the last video. This is just like an account that somebody was using. Oh, he's still here. Oh my God. Wait, they used to like leave as soon as I would leave, but I think it's now just automated to where like he's not looking at the screen. He just has a program to send somebody in. And so he, he left. Why'd he leave? I enjoyed his company. <laughs> no, but accounts like this that were actually being used, but then just got stolen. Like, look, this was being used a lot. Why did he leave when I joined? He was just here, like, doing his thing, like, singing his same old song. It's just weird, like, how they changed it from them, from the bots just, like, maybe floating in the air or just staying in the spawn in, like, a falling animation, like, they're, like, with their hands up. Sorry. And now they just like start crashing into you. Oh, another one that the guy I was just in the game with has all these all these games for some reason. None of them seem to ever be named right though. Welcome to Pluto Two Player House Tycoon. Lucas Vlogs. Albert. This one is just named Albert. That's me. Welcome to Albert. Remember that this game is early in development. Well, I am young. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, guys, guys. I just found something so cool. Wait. Okay. Obviously, this sends you here, and then you're stuck with this noob. But so there is this game. There is this group called Creative Theater. Sorry, this is completely off topic. You can skip this part if you want, but I don't think you should. I saw an ad for a group called Creative Theater and said, "Flip Flam, wanna join?" So I was like, "Nah." But then I had. A proposition to make. I clicked it. And then in the chat, in the group wall, I saw this guy, Doom Machine 136. He said, Can I help make the theater? And you know what I just saw? Done. The owner of this group changed user Doom Machine 136 rank from audience to co owner. I will now join Creative Theater. Wait, let me just make sure it's real. Oh my god, he's there! Doom Machine 136. Okay, I have to join now. They were quick on that. I just posted that video 14 hours ago. All right, whatever. You gave into my demands. I'll join your group. I'll probably leave after a little bit, but whatever. Did your thing, and now Doom Machine, you have this guy. A machine. Many call me a man, but I'm both. So now he's a co-owner of a group. It's nice. You probably just ruined your own group, but I'll join for a little bit. Hey, at least we have something positive going on instead of bots just crashing into you. It happened again. Santiago, stop. I'm trying to hide. Stop. Okay, I just started playing this random game because it gave me a bunch of weapons for free. I just joined and they're all there. Really stupid idea on their end, but maybe I can run backwards and just use him as like a, a meat shield. All right, whatever. Maybe they'll miss me and hit you. Die. Just gotta do my thing real quick. Oh God, no. Maybe they'll hit him. I think his chat bubble is actually blocking my location. <laughs> he didn't see me. Sorry, I was just literally, I'm, I can't play games on my main account anymore because they just they just follow and just do this oh god hey that was my meat shield all right well, i got my boy back got my boy back it really does suck that that was somebody else somebody else's account at some point all right you know what i, I probably sh i probably should actually be doing more in investigation oh god Paige, do a montage of that. That was sick. All right, whatever. Uh, so the guy who, you know, kind of created these box blocks of bots. His name is Bloxfin, as you saw from all the spam that these guys are doing. I checked his Twitter and nothing has happened yet. There's still no explanation behind his Twitter. It's still creepy. It's still a picture of him actually doing the okay sign in front of Roblox HQ. Like, I'll have you know, after we recorded that video, like me and Tempris, he kind of let me know that, you know, this could actually be dangerous for me. Like, what if they have my IP address and, you know, can kind of track every single game I'm in because of that. But then they started doing it to other YouTubers and that kind of made me feel a little better about that. That doesn't change that they could still have my personal information that I don't give out on YouTube. <laughs> but maybe not. He also used to have it so you could message him to opt out, which I did message him to opt out of the program. Like, I don't want to be in it that badly. You know, if I'm playing a random game like that just for fun, I don't want to be, like, 
just just attacked. Please keep in mind, we no longer accept Roblox messages for opt-outs. You guys probably spammed them a lot. Oh, what's this? All right, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna check out if there's anything at Blocks of Finn's place. I was told that I should go there. Tempris told me. Huh. So it's like the starter place, except there's this thing right here. Why wouldn't it just be the starter place? What is this for? I, I know that seems like such an irrelevant detail, but like, I'm going to focus in on all the small details if I can find them. Because they're not really giving us much to work with. What w What's the point of this? He added this that kind of moves. Oh, wait. I might actually have a good explanation of why they're getting aggressive. I think we actually... This sounds so stupid, but I think we actually angered Block's offense. Because look, he had this smiley face on before. This is the last video I did on him. November 2nd. It's November 4th now as i'm recording this he had the smiley face all right let's take a look at his profile blocks of Finn. he has an angry face that would explain why they're just like just coming at you you know like that oh god i would explain why they're they're doing that to you you know to this to this little man he has the angry face. I have not been followed yet. Okay, that that's a normal person. So I'm trying to like look inside here um, using uh, shift lock. There's definitely nothing in there. What? How did he get angry though? Is it because people spammed him? What did he expect? Also, apparently, uh, at, like shortly after the video was posted, he was botted to like 10k followers, robot accounts. It was probably him, and now he's back down to 357. But even that seems kind of low, cause like the video on him is at like almost 700,000 views, but only. 357 people followed him. I'm not asking people to follow him. I'm just kind of like he followers were like deleted or something. That's that's probably not the case, but I don't want to scare anyone when I say this, but um I'm kind of scared. <laughs> These bots could really do a lot more damage than they're currently doing cuz like right now it's just like we're being monitored. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, it's like a little frustrating sometimes when I can't use my main account at all. Because robots don't sleep. That's the issue here. <laughs> People sleep. If this was just a person, because I've had a person, like, force themselves into my game before, and then they would, like, spam, uh, personal information about me. Um, but yeah, that's where the issue lies with these guys is, uh, okay, see, it's already, your behavior is being monitored. Yup. That might be fake, though. It's gonna be hard to decide, like, who's impersonating a bot. I guess you'll only be able to tell if they're actually, like, attacking you in-game. Alright, is this an actual bot? Yeah, no, this looks like an actual bot, because, um, I think these are old badges. No. Oh, well, I guess that I guess the bots can still get badges if they follow people into games, so... Huh. This one doesn't have, like, the millions of games, though. It's hard- it's hard to tell what's real and what isn't. Guys, by the way, if you ever try to impersonate a bot, that's a really bad idea, because you're just gonna get your account <laughs> banned, probably. But yeah, hopefully these bots, they don't you know, whoever runs them doesn't just decide to just do a bunch of damage to everybody's lives by, like, leaking personal information. I feel like I'm probably giving them ideas now. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's actually real, because he's doing, like, a team message and a regular message at the exact same time. If this is an actual bot, that, 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 this has a lot of Robux on it. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. I do have an idea of who it could be because one of you pointed out in the comments I won't say who even if I do find out for sure I, w I probably just won't say who it is because I don't want them to get banned It's a very interesting and a very smart person that we're thinking it could be but I'm not I'm not gonna say it Maybe if, if they start leaking my personal information, but I would have to know 100% sure because I, ha I really have no idea This is just really re this is one of the weirdest things that's ever happened to me on Roblox. I'll keep you guys updated you ever see these guys in your game There's nothing you can do <laughs>